Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Y'all, let's do some more fun, practical, and economical paper crafting. Stay tuned. So for those of you who haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I would love to have you join. We are doing some amazing things on this channel. We are learning all types of tips and techniques, wonderful ways to use our scraps, wonderful ways to create legacy gifts, not impractical gifts, but legacy keepsake gifts. And we have an awesome online fellowship every day we live chat, and we would love for you to be a part of that. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so that you will know when I upload a new video. And here is today's project, guys. Isn't it absolutely deliciously wonderful? Best way to describe it. It is perfect for anyone's desk. I have this with a feminine flair, but change the paper and it becomes any season, any reason, any gender. And it's so easy to make. We're going to make it right now. So the first thing that we are going to need to make the jacket of our project, we're going to need some chipboard pieces. So we have two pieces of chipboard that measure two and a half by one and a quarter. Three. And we have one piece of chipboard that measures three quarters by four and a half. We have two pieces of chipboard that measure four and a half by one and a quarter. We have two pieces of chipboard that measure four and a half by two and a half. And then we have a little template piece that measures three quarters by one. And we're going to take this and place it down on a six by 12 inch piece of paper. And we'll trim some away, but that's what we're going to start with. So let's bring in these pieces here first. So we're going to have our three quarters by four and a half, our two four and a halves by one and a quarter, and our two four and a half by two and a half inch pieces. All right guys, so I have placed double stick tape on the back of each piece of my chipboard. You can see that sheen. I am going to take one of the four and a half by one quarter inch pieces and place it down just like that. Then I'll take one of the pieces that measures four and a half by two and a half, and I'll place that down using about an eighth of an inch in spacing. Then I will take another four and a half by one and a quarter inch piece, place it down again using about an eighth of an inch in spacing. And I'll place my second four and a half by two and a half inch piece and I'll place that down one eighth of an inch in spacing. And then finally, I'll place down my three fourths by four and one half inch piece, about an eighth of an inch in spacing. Then I'll use my finger blade and I'm just going to trim away that little bit of excess that I had left over. Now I'm going to flip it over and just use my spatula to get everything nice and stuck between the paper and the chipboard. And then I'll use my stylus and basically I am just going around the chipboard and I am using the chipboard as a guide and I'm pressing the bulb of the stylus down into the paper to give me a crease and this helps to minimize cracking won't eliminate it, but it will help to reduce and minimize it. So I am just giving a very good burnishing here and impression into the paper. Now, and so now I'll take it where I burnished into the paper and it folds over very easily. So all I'm going to do at this point 
is I am going to miter my edges. And then once I have my edges mitered, I am going to use my tape runner to place tape on all four of my edges to get this stuck down. And I can use a regular old snail tape runner here because I'll be laying down a liner piece and that will help to sandwich in this piece that I'm putting snail tape on. I will not be using snail on the liner because I do need a much stronger stick. So all I need to do at this point, fold it over, use my bone folder to go along the edges, and we repeat this on all four sides. And then we're going to be left with this. One thing that I actually forgot to do, and we're going to do it now, is I meant to cut out the template for the opening of the tissue. And we will do that right now and I'll show you where the template goes. This little flap here is the top fold over piece for this. So that means that we need to cut our template in the panel next to it. So I'm going to take my 3 fourths by one inch piece I already have a little bit of tape on the back, so I don't even have to glue it. And I am going to try to position that in the center. I might not get it perfect, but that'll be okay. So then I'm going to use my spatula just to drive that in. Now what I want to do is I am simply going to take my finger blade and cut out this little rectangle here. That is all we need to do. And you need to put a little bit of weight on this because you are cutting through that chipboard. So I am not sticking my finger in the finger blade because I really don't want to aggravate where I had that burn. I'm just going to hold my finger on top of the blade so that I can put down the right amount of pressure and just keep working it until you have it cut out. All right guys, so I have my opening cut out and ordinarily I would have cut this first because I would have been able to take my paper, fold it over and wrap it on the inside, but it's okay because this is still going to look great. So all I'm doing is taking my little bone folder here and just going in and smoothing out that opening. And there we've got a nice polished looking opening. All right guys, so now that we have our opening cut out, ordinarily I would place my tape all over the inside chipboard. But since I have this opening, I'm not going to do that. I have actually covered my liner piece in tape. And my liner piece measures four and a quarter by eight and seven eighths. And you might need to trim your liner a little bit depending on your spacing, but start with eight and seven eighths in length. So I am simply going to take this and place it down on my board. And then once I have it down, I will use my big old spatula I'm gonna get everything stuck and then we'll go through and individually define each one of our spines. And I'm just going to go back over this and take my spatula point and go through each one just to make sure they are nice and crisp. So now I have this, and as you can see, I need to get rid of this sticky part here. So very easy. All I'm going to do is take my finger blade and go in on the inside until I have this completely cut out. You might have to go around it a couple of times 
but just go from end to end on the inside until you know you have this ready to just pop out. And there we have got a nice little opening for our tissue box. So this is going to be such a cute personal tissue box, but now we need to make the side pieces for it. So to make our side pieces, I have two pieces of three by three decorative paper, and I am going to use my two pieces of chipboard that measure two and a half by one and a quarter. Peel off my backing, take this, place it down at the very bottom, Then I'll use my finger blade. And once I get to the edge of the chipboard, I'll flare out. And let me go ahead and put the other one down using that same technique. So I am going to lift off my tape, place it right here at the end Then I'll take my finger blade, go up to the edge of that chipboard stop, and flare out. And so now I'll take my glue, and this is a small piece, so I will use glue to close it. So I'll pick this up just like this, fold it over, get it stuck down. All right guys, so I have both of these stuck and I am going to just remove the excess paper. And we will get our little tissue box put together. And this makes a great gift. Even if you don't mount it to the sticky notepad platform, still a great gift. So what I'm going to do at this point is I am going to first place this inside and what I'm looking for when I place it inside is I want to make sure that my side piece does not extend over the top and it doesn't and I'll do the same thing on this side so I'm putting it in I'll bring that up and it will not go over the top so at this point I am going to take my glue Place glue on the three raw edges of this chipboard. And this time when I put it down, I normally give myself about an eighth of an inch. I'm going to move in just a little more than an eighth of an inch because we have the space to do so on this project. So I am going to go in a little bit more than an eighth of an inch on my side piece just like that. So once you have it placed in, all I did was placed it in here, lined it up with the front and the back. Then I will squeeze the front and the back while pressing down. And this is what gives us that fabulous stick that holds our projects together. So I am just going to allow this to dry and then we'll put the other piece in. All right guys, so this side is dry enough and we can go ahead and place this side in as well. Same process, we're going to take our glue, place glue on the three raw corners. We're going to place glue on the three raw edges of our chipboard. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tissue pack, place it in just to make sure that I don't place this piece in too snug. And then I'll just take this piece, place it in over here, just like I did on the other side. So I'll place it in just like this. And I'll make sure that I have it nice and stuck to the bottom. And then I'll push in on my sides, press down, pushing on the sides again, just to make sure that I have everything nice and stuck. Take my little tissue pack, put it in, just to make sure that it is going to fit 
Then I'll take this out, I'm going to set it to the side, let it dry, and we'll work on the platform. Okay, for the platform, we are going to need two pieces of six by eight chipboard. I have a piece of eight by 10 decorative paper, which will be the outside of the platform. And then I have a piece of five and three quarters by seven and seven eighths inch decorative paper that will cover the bottom. So very easy process. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the two pieces of chipboard and we are just going to join them together because I really want just a nice sturdy base on this platform. So if you have heavyweight chipboard, you're ahead of the game because that's basically what I just created was some heavyweight chipboard. So I double stack two pieces of medium weight chipboard. So then I place tape on one side of the double stacked eight by six chipboard. And I am going to place it down on the back side of this. So I am going to take this, place it down right in the center. And then I'll flip it over use my big old spatula just to get a really good stick on this. And then I'll take my stylus and go around those ends just to make an impression so that I can fold over. So then I'll stand it up, fold it over. And then I'll use my finger blade to miter my corners. And so then I'll take my snail tape runner again and just place tape on my four flaps because they will be sandwiched between our liner piece. So now I can take this, fold it over on all four sides, just like I'm doing. And then I'll use my big old spatula to really come back and put that pressure so that that tape runner actually starts to stick. So there, we have that piece done. Now we are going to take this liner piece and place it right there. So what I need to do is place some tape on this and I'll be right back. All right guys, so now that we have our tape on the back, I am simply going to use my glue, place glue on the back of this. And yes, this is some beautiful paper, but I'm sacrificing it because I want that green on the other side. And plus I have some more of this, so I will sacrifice one piece. And now we have our glue on the edges. We'll take this and place it down and this just gives us a nice finish to the base, guys. Even though you're not going to see the bottom of this, it's just important that we finish off our projects as best we can. Okay, guys, so this should be dry enough for us to place the magnets. And I am going to place my magnets using glue dots. And I am using two eight by one millimeter magnets and I'm placing a glue dot on one and I'll take it and I am going to place it right there. Now I'll take my second glue dot, place it down on this piece. I'll place it on that magnet there, remove that backing. Now I should be able to take this and get it stuck so that I can separate the two magnets. And you see it works. All right guys, so now that we have our magnets in place, we can go ahead, take our tissues, and I am just going to open the tissue pack and take my whole pack of tissues out. And in this pack, I believe that there are 20 tissues. So I am going to take these, stack them inside, just like that. Then I'm going to take some more from another pack because I want this to be completely full and I'm going to put it on the inside just like this. 
When we close this, I can then pull out my sheet and you can see that we've got this sweet and full little personal tissue holder. It is so stinking cute. So now we're going to take this and place it on our platform along with this awesome little to-do list, one of my little mini sticky note pads, and then I have a little sticker that I'm going to put here on the bottom. But the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to take some glue and just put down this pad. And when you've used all of the notepads, the sticky notepads here, you'll still have that white base so you can replace this and you can do the same thing with this one. So I need to make sure it's going in the right direction. I am going to take some glue, place glue on the back, try to line that up with that. And then I'm going to put down my tissue holder and the way that I'm going to put down the tissue holder is I am just going to place some glue on the bottom. Because this is a desk platform, if you want it to just give the tissue box as a gift all by itself, just don't place any glue on the bottom. Just make it, fill it, and give it. So you can see how cute that is. And then I have this little sticker here that simply says, enjoy the now. I am going to place that right there. And as y'all can see, we have an awesome platform for the desk or the table, bedside table, wherever you need to put this. And you've got your little sticky notepads that you can write a quick note. You've got a tissue box if you need tissues or if you want to make the tissue box separately, whatever works for you. But I think that this is just an awesome way for so many people who are now homebound because of the virus and working from home to decorate your desk, make it more cheerful. And it's things like this that do that. So let's have another look at both of these and you can see just how cute, practical, fun, and inexpensive they are to make. But they're truly Truly delightful. So guys, I hope that you have liked this project. And if you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join my online crafting family. You guys have a great day. Happy crafting. And we'll chat later. Bye.